Welcome to Wild Tracks. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Vengo Sky 300 tent. I picked up this tent from Facebook Marketplace for just 50 Australian dollars. Although it's a pre owned tent, it's in really nice condition. Let's have a look at some of the specs. It's a three person tent, although you're going to be quite cozy with three people. The weight is from the 5.7 kilograms. It's a tunnel design with fiberglass poles. The fly is made out of 70D polyester and a PE floor. The hydrostatic rate for the fly is 3000 millimeters and for the floor 5000. The tent is just under 4 meters in length about 1 meter 80 in the width and around the 1 meter 35 high and it's considered a three season tent. I bought this tent to replace a really big family tent and considering the kids do not go camping with us that often I opted for something a little smaller, easier to pitch, a bit more compact that is just good enough for my wife and I for a week in a way. Here I'm pitching the tent for the very first time and without any instructions. It is very straightforward to set it up. The tent comes with three poles, two of the same length and one a little bit smaller. The smaller one goes towards the end of the tent, while the longer poles forming the living area and the vestibule. There are pins in the floor material that you hook in the poles. As with many other Vengo tents, you can connect the inner tent to the fly. So once done, it makes pitching of a tent in the future really quick. In this video, I'm setting up the fly first and then I clip in the inner tent. I'm not a big fan of this typical Vengo green color, but since it's a family tent, I don't mind it that much. So the fly is up, and as you can see in the front are two clear windows. Again, I'm not a big fan of those windows. I had some bad experience with a window in a marmot tent, which deteriorated over time and the complete window came out. I'm just hoping that will not happen with this stand. So for a larger family tent, it's still a fairly compact tent. And I can't stand straight up in the living space. The inner tent also contains the ground sheet for the vestibule. So the tent comes with the Vengo tension band system or TBS and from my experience that works really well. So now it's just a matter of rolling out the inner tent and clipping it in the designated loops. You could use the tent without the inner tent, specifically when you need a little bit more space. I'm thinking about you go mountain biking, maybe with a couple of people. That would give you a bit more space to actually have the bikes inside the tent.
when I took down the tent, I left the inner tent attached to the fly. So next time I'm gonna use the tent, I just have to put the poles through the sleeves and stake it out. The ground sheet feels heavy duty, it has a good feel to it. Yeah, and that's the finished product. Quick look. I do think that the tent lacks ventilation. So apart from the door, there are not too many vents in the sleeping area or the main part of the tent. With regards to the capacity, you would struggle fitting three people in the sleeping area. So I'm average build, 1 meter 75 tall, but you could not fit three of my size next to each other in the sleeping area. Inside, the tent is pretty basic. It has two small pockets on the side, two tiny loops to connect a line or a torch, but that's all. Well, that concludes the review of this tent. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, you may want to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time.